It's Coach Maggie with another Soul Food Sunday, where I give you inspiration for you to feed your soul. And today I want to talk about the compassion and the love of God. You know, often we have a, I don't know, our theory of God, our feeling of God is often based on what we think of our earthly father. But regardless of that situation, um, I just want to talk briefly about just the nature of God. And so often we are fearful. If we've made a mistake, we see God is like pointing his finger at us. When we do the thing that we know we shouldn't have done, we often feel like God is condemning us. And that he's that stern, maybe schoolmaster. And yet all through the Bible, we see the opposite. Yes, we see a stern God to those that were walking against him and against his people. But even starting in the garden, when Adam and Eve sinned, he was looking for them. He was reaching out to them. He was the one that sowed the fig leaves to give them when they felt that shame. And then so many places through the Bible, we see Jesus reaching out to Peter when he was denied three times. We see that same character. We see Jesus with the woman at the well who was, um, had lived with all these different men. He wasn't condemning. And yet so often when we've blown it, we run from God instead of to God. When we've maybe stepped out, we've, we've moved away, we've stepped away from him. We've stopped meeting with him in the mornings. We've stopped um, having that relationship. We've stopped going to church. We have maybe broken a relationship. We've just knowingly walked away from our faith, from, from really from God. And there are times when we feel that tug, but instead we feel like we've gone too far. And so I just want to speak to that person today, for all of us, but mainly to that person who has really thought, okay, I have really blown it. I have totally gone against, I've done so many things. I'm too far gone. But like the prodigal son, we see that as just a nice story in the Bible. But you know what? We've all been prodigals. We all started as prodigals. We were away from God. And we were prodigals. We were doing our own thing. And so whether it was just some small thing or some huge thing, we all were prodigals. And so I just want to speak to that person, to you, if you feel like it's been too long, it's been too much, I've done too much, I've hurt too many people. And while people tend to hold things against us, they say, I forgive you, but there's still that little bit of umph that they're holding on to. God doesn't. And the Bible says that it's, it's like he never even knew you did it. Once you say you're sorry, it's gone. Only God is able to do that. We tend to still hold on. But God is able to literally wipe it away. And that's what he does. And he's inviting people to come back into a relationship. And he's even understanding that you're cautious, that you're afraid, that you're doubtful that he could possibly forgive you. But that's the beauty of it. It doesn't matter. He is still willing to reach out. And like the prodigal son, he's ready to come running to you. He's not waiting. He's waiting for you to have a repentant heart. But he's not waiting for you to get your act together. He's not waiting for you to, you know, get feel all polished, turn your life around. He is simply saying, come back. I love you. And he's willing to forgive to let it go, to forget, and to that's the beauty of it, to restore you completely. And so I just want to encourage, and for some you may say, I'm not that prodigal where I've gone off and done things, but maybe you've allowed your relationship with God to just drift. There's no major sin, there's no big thing, but there isn't that strong bond like there used to be. Or maybe you are listening to this and you're like, you know, I've just sort of never had that deep relationship because I've always been a little cautious. 
because God is so up there and I'm down here. But no, he, the beauty is he doesn't wait for us to go up to him. He reaches down to us. And he so invites us in to a deep, loving relationship with him. So I just want to invite you to just say yes, even with your doubts, even with your fears. That's the beauty. We often look at God through human eyes to see him like people. Because people have let us down. But God, that's impossible for God to let us down. So again, open yourself up no matter where you are, whether you feel close or far away. Open your heart to him and just invite him to just come along on this journey in life. He wants to meet you right where you are. So you don't have to do all these things. So, And also today is the last day to sign up for Restore Your Health Academy. There's a link. Love to have you just check it out, see if it's something that maybe would interest you. Again, it's an opportunity to deepen your relationship with him, to restart that journey, or just go deeper, as well as working on your emotional side and your physical to get our health where it needs to be. So have an amazing week. Come back tomorrow for my five-minute Monday mindset. As always, take care and God bless.